no, he gets brow. this one eyebrow from time to time that just like it, it literally is like out here, like almost like you're watching 4D. Okay, uh, I need Scotty B for this. Oh no, uh -oh. <laughs> Scotty. Uh -oh. What y'all gonna do? Well, yeah. we're gonna start a banana only fans account yes. soon. Yeah. But aside from that, why did you look at me derisively when I, I, I admitted to growing out my mustache? Well, because you look like you're going to be starring in a porn in the next couple of weeks. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> well, kind of. The OnlyFans page, I guess, right? Well, uh, well yeah. Yeah? <laughs> What's wrong with a mustache? No. Gary had one at some point. No. Garrett could Ew. grow one out no. easily. He what? could. Garrett could have one by 5 o'clock tonight. For my Christ dad sense. had one, and I loved it. I didn't, the thing is, without it, he didn't look like my dad. Something somewhere went horribly wrong in the world of growing a mustache. I don't know if it was either TV or film where mustaches became associated with... Predatory creepy, behavior. Creepy or predatory, <laughs> right. Yeah. Whether, but, you see, I think it was Ned Flanders and the Simpsons. No, the no. I think it's the person, was not, it? yeah. Like, no. when you grew out a mustache, Scary, you look, you look creepy. But that's scary 2000s. If I was born, if I was around in, in my 20s in the 70s or 80s, it would not have been considered creepy. Something happened along the way. Yeah. And it maybe I, I really do think it's a pop culture event that happened, which then the, the world turned on mustaches. I agree. I agree. Was no. there, I don't know. No, that's, that's it's probably so that happened. a lot of creepy guys that got arrested in the 70s and 80s had mustaches. And right. so we you know associate with them. Nobody walked around in the 70s and 80s saying that mustaches were creepy. Otherwise, no one would have had them then. But it's because it somebody says... did, and then people got creeped out by it. Right. So... It yeah. says Maybe it that the, in pet, the pedophile and porn star jokes emerge from a place of discomfort, and that's why people don't like it, because it right away reminds you of a pedophile or a porn star. Yeah, but where did that start, though? Like, why, why, why did all the pedophiles and porn stars yeah. all of a sudden start I, I having mustaches? That. Ron Jeremy. Hang on, uh, Brody, okay, go. Here comes Brody. Okay, so fads come and go, right? Uh Trends fads. change. Yeah, fads. Fashion right? changes. <laughs> but, well, but fashion changes, right? And so... Certain things went out of style, like mustaches and members-only jackets. But the recluse types, the ones that live in the basement, the ones that aren't like in society, uh -huh. those are the people more likely to keep the trends of the past, and they kept the mustaches and the members-only jackets. Mm. And people watch porn from previous years when people wore mustaches. So that's why you still see them, and that's why we associate it. But porn guys today don't have mustaches. No. I mean, a That's couple right. do. Doesn't it tickle? <laughs> it's, it gives it's very, like, like, old Indian man vibes. Like, <laughs> But every... that's only because you're Indian, are you saying? <laughs> no, <it's> like, <laughs> India has a billion people, and if you go over there, like, a lot of the creepy old uncles, they have that stash. It's terrible. <laughs> but then you <laughs> just said creepy old uncle. Exactly. Like, there's no wholesome man with a mustache? Where are the Tom Selleck's of today? What do we Tom call Ted Ted Lasso. Lasso. Ted Lasso. Lasso. Yeah, Ted Lasso has one. There you well, go. But it's... I mean, he's not creepy. He's such a nice guy, but I don't like. I mean, the mustache. mustaches are so bad that even Harry Styles couldn't pull it off. Like he tried, and then uh, and then he shaved so that thing right similarly, off. Similarly, um, body hair is for some reason now associated with being dirty. Like you're not clean because you have body hair. Don't know why, but this again, one of those things that in the 70s and 80s, everybody had, you know, a big giant freaking bush on their chest <laughs> and down <laughs> below. Bush so, because and of it was porn. not, and it was natural, and it was part of, you know, how we all grew up. Right. I think that's, that's of kind of a split that, decision. Yeah. I think some people still enjoy body hair and some don't. Right, but like there, there came a time in the 90s and 2000s where. It's like shave everything everywhere, up and down, underarms, yeah. Then guys, you feel girls. like you're sleeping with a little boy if a guy is totally yeah. shaved. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that happened because of porn. So again, the porn industry we're blaming having porn their again. actors, <laughs> their act, the female actresses shave completely so that the camera could see more of what's going on. And then oh. we picked it up from porn. But when did we become associated with, oh my God, you're not clean. That's because, what I want to know. Because it, it has a stigma now. I don't know. Maybe you guys should just do it and see how much your ladies like it. I don't know. I'm starting to get hair where I don't want hair. The problem Go on. is right. in your nose. Tell the me more. Is, is... <laughs> where is it, Nate? Where's in the weird your hair? nose? <laughs> I'm getting it in my ear and on my back. I don't want it at oh, either of those boy. places. And my nose is starting to get a little furry, too. I wish I could just it... plant it. But isn't it light? Because you're a light. You have light hair. So isn't no, it light? Is the... it like peach fuzz? No, it's not. It's like darker hair. And I'm like, oh. I, I've never had dark hair in my entire life. How is it happening now? 
I got. I had one in my ear the other day. It was like an inch long. Where did that and come it's just from? One, it's just one, right? And it's just one. Yeah, like how does the one decide, you know what? I'm going to start growing now. Yeah. Like, yeah. Speaking of hair, the other day, I, yeah. I had like one piece growing out of my cheek, this long hair. I'm like, what? What, like overnight, did it like just sprout? I'm like, how yes, I, that I have one of those on my like my my sideburns, and I'm like, I don't understand. Like, <laughs> how do you I not notice it all the time? That same thing. Like, is it just autumn? It just pops Lending out of nowhere. It has to. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I had on my forearm. I shit you not, this thing was three inches long. It was like this so, yeah. on my forearm. I'm like. How did I not notice this? It has I mean, to pop out of nowhere. I think it does. I think our bodies have a sense of humor. And they're like, I'm going to <laughs> I'm fuck with them sprout today. a hair in a crazy place, and it's just going to pop up overnight. And then it's going to be embarrassing <sighs> when someone says, Nate, what is that on your nipple? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> like, oh. I'm not the only one that gets super eyebrow, am I? Well, you get that one eyebrow. It's, it's the same Scary one. Scary gets it. Yeah, I, I've almost been oh, blinded by it a few no, no, times. Scary has super eyebrow. That's mad scientist. No, he no, he gets brow. this one eyebrow from time to time that just like it, it literally is <laughs> like out here, like almost like you're watching 4D and it, and, and it hits you right in the 4D. face. <laughs> hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, so Danielle, if uh, let's say Sheldon, <laughs> does Sheldon have a lot of body hair? He has. I mean, he has hair. It's not like oh my gosh, he has so much hair. Has That's he ever like, shaved like his chest? He doesn't have to. He's not crazy. Really? It's, he's okay. got perfect amount there. Well, here's the thing: like yeah. fat dad bods, like mine, <laughs> shaved. Show us, Scotty B. Shaved stomach <laughs> will not look good. <laughs> you look shaved that though. Look bad. You look shaved. You give yourself yeah, but, such a, a shitty like setup. It's but not if that I, bad. No, but if I shave it completely, it looks stupid. Yeah, I, I know what you mean because I'm starting to get there too. Because yeah. you've been making fun of me and my stomach. I, I, that's fine. That's there are good. some people that have like the werewolf right here. Like it's so much hair and it's so dark. Yeah, and Alex you Zagren. It. You can see it through the... <laughs> First and last name. Oh, I will call him out. Whoa. Our sales guy. Should we give out his phone number? Oh yeah, I'll give it gosh. out right now. Oh, Alex Zagren. Oh, my God. He is he is one hairy guy. Have you noticed that? Like, yeah, when he arms, has... Yeah. You can tell when he's wearing a, a crew neck t-shirt and you can still see the hair popping out. Well, We've seen him without his shirt on and I don't remember going, yeah. like, at the pool when we do, remember like, Remember that a... day he was wearing a sweater but he didn't have a shirt on? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Poor Alan. <laughs> Let him nice. live. I used to work with a guy who would sit there and talk shit about women being anything but completely, like, hairless everywhere as he had hair coming out of the top of his shirt in the oh. back. I was like, I come on, man. You can't yeah. have that double standard. Leave it alone. I don't know. I, I feel like you've got to draw the line. I'm getting all this talk yeah, of like, hair everywhere. You know, the one thing I will say is universally unattractive, you may disagree with me, is hairy backs. When a guy has a hairy back, I'm sure no woman wants that, right? I don't. Thank yeah, God. I haven't blessed. encountered it. It's not something that I desire, but if I really loved someone and they were like hot and had a great personality and the one thing about them was they had a hairy back, whatever, I'll shave it for you. That's fine. <laughs> no, you had to live with it. You can't shave it. I'll live with it because the other stuff's okay. <laughs> I might have a hairy back. I have no idea. Yeah. I'll check. How about a hairy butt? Who's got a hairy butt? Hey, uh, Wait, I everyone does it? <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> Scary. Yes, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'll, you want to interrupt the people. podcast for what you're about to ask? No, which is, as long as you're aware. That I'm aware. Messages. I'm aware. I'm aware. Okay, very I'm good. Aware. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, wait, can, no, no, we've got to pay it off. We have got to pay it off. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Right now. It does now. What is it? It does not. It does not. It does. It does not. You can't do that, Brody. You can't do that. Texting situation for a reason. I can't do it. Scary is the one who doesn't want to say it. No, because it doesn't mean anything. So then, Brody, go for it. Say it. No, say a lot of people are saying, it, say it, A lot say of people it. are saying that the phone tap we're playing right now yeah. is the wrong one, not from the one we played this morning. That's correct. It's from last week. It's from last week. Why did we do that? So be it. Did well, we not like the first one we played today? Oh, who fucked it up? Who I don't know fucked why we're it up? a secret on a podcast that only thousands hear when <laughs> millions are hearing the wrong podcast, the wrong phone tap. All right, right, so we'll 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 correct it tomorrow. We'll figure it out. How and it's no big happen? deal. Well, well, nothing to see happen. here. Yeah. We're, live, we're live without a net, so it's there's nothing no we big can do. Deal, it's people. not a big deal. Here's my question, though. Why instead of just like texting that to Scary or putting it in the, the Yeah, you're calling him out in the public call, forum. Yo, Scary. Uh, I didn't call him out. I said Scary. No, but there's no reason to bring it up in the podcast. Holes. You did yeah. bring it up. It was screeching. And then we're talking about it. He did it in a public forum. No, he did it in a public forum. I know. I agree. I remember that. Not only that, there's nothing the guy could do. He's not sitting on a time machine. We can't go backwards. And now we brought it onto a podcast unnecessarily. I mean, it's oh. eating up a good two minutes, so I appreciate <laughs> that. But uh, Barry brought it on the air unnecessarily. Doesn't matter. It doesn't so mean, it, doesn't mean it needs wrong. to be brought up here in this forum. 
Why do you keep saying forum? Is that because it's a public forum. It's a public forum. forum. <laughs> it's a forum. <laughs> Let's call somebody else that. Who else fucked up today? I, <laughs> I, I fuck cuttings. up every day. I'm yeah. Yeah. Right. very minute. Relax, I'll give him. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, do you hear my stomach growling? I'm sp- I'm going to get blood work in a couple of minutes for like, you know, check- just a checkup. And my stomach is like, because I had a fast. <laughs> Sounds like you're, a freaking monster. You're Because uh, I've been hearing your stomach. Oh. I mean, just regularly now. And the instant I hear it, Danielle goes, oh, that's my stomach. <laughs> I know, I admit it. I take full... All it's right, like, so... honestly, there's something living in there. Danielle, you... what's the first thing you're going to eat post-blood work? Oh, so I, I packed a strawberry granola bar because oh. I think... Well, that because as soon as they pull the blood, I'm going to eat it. But I'm going to go get something on the way home. I just don't know what yet. See what I pass. Mm-hmm. Maybe McDonald's uh-huh. or something yeah. bad. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Anybody else have anything? What's wrong, Scotty? Mm. Nothing. Scotty, oh. why does it look like you're grabbing your junk over there? I'm not. My junk is way further down. I know, but you're like this. <laughs> Scotty's doing his OnlyFans now. Because you're talking about stuff I don't like to hear, and I'm just backed up. That's all. You don't Can like I, hair? I show you guys something on Show and Tell that might be kind of funny? Please, okay. yes. So I was walking down the street the other day. I see a guy that has on a sweatshirt. The sweatshirt oh. says, live fast, eat ass. And it has two bunnies on it Let's that see. are depicting, in case you don't believe that he's talking about eating ass, oh he's eating God. ass. Oh, my so- God. I, I have so, see, see, okay, when you explain that to me, I have seen it where it's the chocolate bunnies, you know, the stereotypical chocolate bunny it's outline, right. Right. Yeah. and somebody's eating the ass, and it's like, okay, I get that. It's, I, it's kind of funny, oh. no, no, but yeah. that is bunny is straight like blatant, up. yeah. What do they call that? Not cunnilingus. It's like butalingus. Butalingus. Analingus. Analingus. Yeah. Analingus. Analingus. So, I take a picture went... of this guy, right? And then I look at the picture. His dog caught me. Look at this judging ass dog. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we went from ass hair to hair ass. That's a pretty good podcast. Yeah. So I was dropping Andrew off on Friday. I've never seen this before. So I dropped him off and he he was walking home. He probably missed this guy maybe about by 20 seconds. A guy just whips out his junk and starts peeing on a tree. A uh, human, like a human, not an animal, a human. So I'm sitting, I, I'm at a red light. I'm stuck. <laughs> the guy's literally peeing right in front of me. Oh, my gosh. The, so this guy had to walk by Andrew, and at any given point, if Andrew just, like, fumbled his bag in my car, he would have been walking straight into a guy peeing on a tree. I saw it with my mom on Canal Street this weekend. Just whipped it out. Now, to be fair, he was considerate and in peeing into a sewer. So <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Oh, yeah. And then so are you guys like me at all? I know I'm, I think I'm probably the worst about it, but do you stop people from sitting on your furniture when they walk in from outside? No, no. that's what it's there oh for. Oh my god, that's no! What it's for. I'm like, not your subway clothes! I'll like run and put a blanket really? down. Really? Yeah, that's really? so gross. You yeah! Okay, I mean, think of it this way, right? So you're on, the, let's say you take a train, you're on the subway, I'm wearing these jeans, this sweatshirt, it's got all the subway schmutz. Oh, these are real, by the way, these are Nikes. <laughs> um, it's got all the schmutz all over it, then I sit on my couch, I get it all over my couch, then... I decide, oh, I wake up in the morning, I'm going to sit on my couch in pajamas, take it into my bed. You all are nuts. You have to how, change but your But how long does that, that, those germs don't last that long? They last forever. I know it. <laughs> no, I don't. I know I don't it. When was the last time you saw a cause of death subway seat? How will we ever know? <laughs> it's a long-term how effect. How will we ever know? Long-term effect. It's so mm. gross. And I, I have... do it on an airplane, though. I, I will. See? I like to change my clothes after I get off the airplane. And I, I think the train that. has more butt traffic and stuff and, yeah. like, shark yeah. and all that than the plane does. Yeah. I, I think the solution is you just wear two pairs of pants. You have your subway pants <laughs> over your regular pants. Your and then you just pants. take your pants off when you get someplace. Outside clothes cannot come inside. I mean, I've heard of shoes. So you made your parents take their pants off? Oh, so they have clothing at my house because uh-huh. they're the same way. They grew up in, in India, in Bombay. It was as soon as you came home, you change your clothes. As soon wow. as you wow. this is, We should talk wow. about this on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. That's, oh, God. Yeah, it's, it's like it runs in my family. This whole thing is like, ah! Don't but it's, do it's it. only public transportation. Like, you don't do that when you get home from work, right? If you take a private, like, if, if Scary drives you, right? No, I wouldn't do it, like, if Scary drives you. Oh, my me. Maybe God, you I totally should, do but... that from Scary's car. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he keeps his car pretty clean. You should, you should wear a Tyvek he... suit in his car and take that off when you get home and throw it out. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, like, I don't wash my jeans every single time I wear them. So no. it, there's a chance that these jeans I'm wearing right now may have been on the PATH train this weekend. So I just, as soon as I walk in the house... Everything comes off and pajamas. Wow, yeah. you are like one step closer to becoming your father. Howie <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mandel. Every day, uh, and that's all the time we have for okay. today. So thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.